So just when you thought that Blizzard had peaked their scummy levels, they found a way to go even further beyond. Seriously, they're like Goku, they just keep powering up. So let's rewind the clock a little bit with Overwatch 2. The whole reason this game was even supposed to exist, which ended up shutting down the original Overwatch and replacing it, was supposed to be a giant overhaul, and most importantly, adding story, a story campaign PvE missions. I want to say it was last month or so, they put out that live stream where they talked about how they were greatly, significantly reducing how much effort they were putting into those PvE story missions, and it was going to be greatly dialed back. Well, now we have our first details on these PvE story missions, and yeah, you have to pay if you want to keep playing the missions. What a level of scummy crap. Now, I'm going to roll a clip from the gaming podcast that I do once a week over on my gaming channel. Subscribe over there if you haven't already, and we're going to break this thing down for you. Overwatch 2! Oh boy. You fucking cocksucking fucks! Fuck me! We're, we're greatly scaling back our PvE experience. The whole reason why we've added the fucking number 2 to this fucking game. We're greatly scaling it back. And now, okay. Overwatch 2 players will need to pay for permanent access to the PvE story missions. Holy fuck, you cunts are fucked in the fucking head, dude. Yes, because <laughs> what they promise... Because <laughs> uh, what they fucking promise and what we're getting is so fucking bullshit. But, so they're making us pay for three fucking story missions, right? And apparently every season, they're going to be adding more. But the reason why them doing it is bad is because what they promised in 2019. Where it was meant to be a full campaign and there was meant to be all this fucking crazy shit. Now, we're not even getting that. Like, there was meant to be a skill tree and shit. They're cutting the skill tree. So the skill trees won't be in this, um, the three missions things. And uh, that is completely wiped away. Uh, there's so much that they promised that is not coming. So the three missions that we're getting is just worthless at this point. It, it's it's just like a le what left over of stuff they abandoned. You know what I mean? They're just, oh, we might as well use it. Try and get a, as much money as we can because we, we made it. You know what I mean? That's all it is. Is, I mean... Have they even, because uh, I'm pretty sure they finished the campaign, but then they just had so much other shit and they, yeah, instead of releasing it how they promised, they're doing this and it's just sad. <laughs> oh, but it's the fucking audacity, like the sheer fucking audacity of yeah. less than a month ago doing that live stream talking about, yeah, we're greatly scaling everything back. And then yep. fast forward, yeah. it's, oh, you have to pay for it. Yeah, like, yeah. I remember well, when they put out the statement, I remember reading it and thinking it kind of sounds like they're going to charge, but it was pretty vague. And now here they are, charging for it. it yeah. And, and what fucking mission. reality do you think you can get away with that, that car that you wanted? Well, we're greatly scaling it back. We've taken out the engine and it's only got two fucking tires. Oh, and by the way, you have to pay if you want to drive it. Three fucking missions. And then they want us to fucking be happy about it <laughs> <laughs> and it's like the original pve plan like even if you're not into overwatch it sounded kind of cool because awesome like, as i said all the skill all the different characters with all the different skill trees it's like yeah that's a lot of replayability and now mm -hmm. that's all gone this is to me this is basically like do you remember in overwatch one when they had like those co-op missions that popped up from time to time um in an event they were like fun to play for like the first four times and you're over it that's what yeah, this yeah. fucking is yeah, yeah, yep. And it's, Jesus it's all right. Over the past few days, Overwatch fans have been bombarded with new announcements as Blizzard has dropped a number of teasers and trailers for Season 5, but also for upcoming Season 6 Invasion Event 2. However, the long-awaited PvE modes might not be freely accessible to all, at least not in the long run. In a blog post following the release of the Season 5 patch notes, uh, came some announcements about the upcoming Invasion event and what it will bring. Alright, here we go. According to the blog post, there'll be two different bundles players can purchase for access to the Invasion PvE content. A normal bundle for 15 USD and the Ultimate Bundle for 40 USD. That's their fucking Black Cell shit. That's their Black Cell, yep. Mm -hmm. So, what do you get in the normal bundle? Permanent access to Overwatch 2 Invasion Story Missions. Permanent access. So they will give it to you for free and then take it away unless you pay for it. Classic Blizzard. <sighs> A thousand Overwatch coins. <laughs> Legendary Surgeon skin. Is she still broken, Mozza? Is she still greatly overpowered? Do you know? Dude, I haven't looked at Overwatch in fucking years. Like, ages now. <laughs> years. Like, I, 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 I wish it was years. Um... 
Yeah. Permanent Wait, access what? to her as a, as a playable hero for new players. Wasn't she, like, given to free for everyone at the launch? Yeah, so she was meant to be free. She wasn't even in the battle. No, uh, no, because remember, they, um, they made it so you have to level up. So if you if you got Overwatch 2 for free, remember, you have to level up to get the new characters, right? But uh, she she was in it, like, right off the bat, though, right? No, no, I'm pretty sure she was scaled behind level, like, 50 or some shit. Okay. Yeah. Oh, was it Kiriko that was for free? Yeah, Kiriko. Um, you didn't have to buy the battle pass yet. Okay. Okay. All right, let's keep going. Yeesh. Now, if you buy the ultimate edition, you get the battle pass with 20 battle skips, an additional 1,000 coins, and two legendary skins. 20 levels? You get to skip 20 levels for an extra $35? And 1,000 coins isn't even going to get you a skin. Holy fuck. Yeah, this is pathetic. <laughs> wow. Uh, 